Our bond major, uh, the community of Roseman stepped up. It was, the, it was the largest percentage vote in the history of Roseman. And it ended up at 67.77. Uh -huh. uh, we have 29 days to wait for the elections office to uh, say that everything is done correctly and everything is right and they, they sign off on it. Uh -huh. Once they sign off on it, then we can move forward in, in, our, in our endeavor to rebuild our schools. Sure. Uh, it's an exciting time. Sure, and this is going to mean, uh, could mean, I understand, nearly a hundred million dollars to the variety of schools in the district. That's correct. Our eligibility, our eligibility will be anywhere between 58 to 100 plus million dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, we started the paperwork on that. We plan on having our paperwork submitted to the state of California uh, for the hardship funding and the qualifications for those hardship fundings. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing just how much eligibility we do have. They say that we have more eligibility than we could use. Mm. For the amount of money that we can generate, mm -hmm. but with our with our bond uh, extension passing, the eligibility that will turn in, it could be could be mm -hmm. in excess of a hundred million, mm -hmm. and that will go to uh, three schools. Mm -hmm. What a great time to be an educator! It's a great time for this community. Um, uh, I think a great person in this district, in this community. Uh, Rick Webb, mm -hmm. president of the Roseman Municipal, mm -hmm. said, Rod, it's not just for the kids. This is a, for the community. Mm -hmm. And I think he hit it right on the head. This is a community effort, and these are going to be community buildings. Mm -hmm. Well, that's terrific. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I will. <coughs> uh, Roman, you give a very nice presentation to the Rotary Club here in Roseman today about the wind energy industry. And do you see it providing jobs over the next couple of years? It definitely will provide jobs for, uh, for the county uh, in the area, not only in the construction phase, but in the maintenance phase afterwards, because uh -huh. these machines will be here for a long time. Uh -huh. How many um, machines do you foresee being put up in the next, say, two or three years? I can't. Uh, I can't speak for all the machines be going up. But I, I can say what's uh, roughly what's on paper, and right. we're looking at least a thousand machines. I'd say for uh, anywhere from depending on the size of them, of course. So let's say from 700 to a thousand machines, easy. Uh huh. Turbines. That and, and, and that still won't supply Edison's 4,500 megawatt demand up there, right? That, that won't fill the the capacity of the transmission lines. There, there'll be still more capacity. In the transmission lines that they're building, uh -huh. so so depending on the, the, how large the, the turbines are going to be and how many go up, it, you can say plus a thousand. But uh -huh. How much? I'm not ready to take that estimate. Don't have a crystal ball. No, I don't have a crystal ball. Okay, and uh, Oak Creek Energy is uh, involved in building uh, this this uh, site, but currently we're involved in a partnership and. Uh, and the, with that partnership, we're involved in uh, building the 1,500 megawatts. Uh -huh. the currently, a power purchase agreement with uh, Southern California Edison for the 1,500 megawatts. Uh -huh. Yes, we're involved. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thanks very much for the time. You're very welcome. It's uh, 15 miles to the gallon. Mm -hmm. You can go places in this vehicle comfortably. Uh -huh. And if you like to go snow skiing, this is the vehicle to take up to Mammoth. If you like to go to the lake and pull your boat, this will pull your boat. It will pull up to 7,800 pounds. Uh-huh. And th th this has uh, three seats in it? It has three seats. Uh -huh. It's got leather interior. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Mm-hmm. And we do offer low financing, you know, mm -hmm. through Ford Motor Credit. So come see us. Uh -huh. Make an appointment with uh, Ruben or with Dave. We'd we'll be more than glad to come and show you this beautiful automobile. Uh huh. And you said that it knew again. If you get me right, it was about fifty-three thousand. It's about fifty-two thousand. Uh huh. Brand new. Uh huh. So but now uh, you're selling it for. 
We're selling it right now for $23,997. And the Kelly Blue Book, even the wholesale, is still over $25,000. Kim, congratulations on uh, being elected a director of the RCSD. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'd like to really thank everybody in the town who supported me. Um, I, I will do my best to fulfill anything that I have promised anybody. Uh -huh. But I would like to see Rosen be a better town when I'm done. Uh -huh. Do you know when you're going to be seated as a director? I do not. I'm sure I was, I'm going to talk to um, the general manager tomorrow and make an appointment with him to find out what time uh -huh. and what day the uh, actual seating is. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, your background, I know you work for AVIC. Yes, I've got 18 years of experience in, in water treatment and distribution. I hold a T5, which is the highest state of California Health Department of Health Services treatment license there is. And I hold a D4, which is the second highest in distribution. And I'm a community activist. I'm very active in all of my kids' activities. And if you want to make a difference, you got to make a difference. I understand you're in band and you're in soccer. Uh, band, soccer. <laughs> used to be in softball. Used to be in travel ball. Um, I've got an older daughter that lives up in northern Idaho who is becoming very involved in sports for with youth as well. Sure. I would like to help support our uh, our CSDs. Um, Special Olympics program. Oh, sure. And help with that. Help, help coach with that. I have a I have a niece who's a special needs neat niece as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, good. Congratulations Thank again, you. and um, best Thank of luck. You. Thank you again. <laughs> Give me a little bit about your background. Well, I, uh, as far as in the Antelope Valley, I've been here since 1988. Uh huh. I uh, got out of the military. I was in the active duty for eight years. I see. And in the reserves for six years, all the time I was in the fire department in the in the Air Force. I see. I did a little reserve time. Once I got here, at that was Air Force Base. Uh huh. And uh, that was uh, a great experience. I got to work with a lot of different aircraft and see a lot of different things. Oh yes. And uh, my uh, youngest son was born here in Lancaster in '88. Oh, I he, see. He was born in <coughs> April. And, mm -hmm. uh, been here since uh, I started working with North Gorman Fire Department mm -hmm. in Palmdale. I see. And uh, so I've been in the fire service for a total of 28 years. Uh -huh. I've, been, I've been 20 years at Northrop. Uh -huh. And uh, now I'm looking forward to you know helping the my neighbors and the people. You know, I'm looking forward to helping them when it comes to safe and affordable water. Uh -huh. And uh, I really like to. Uh, try to see what I could do to keep us from having those chloramines in the water, which I don't think are the best option mm -hmm. to, to get rid of the THMs. Mm -hmm. it goes, I feel a little different about this one because of the way the presidential election went. And uh -huh. Four years ago, uh, you know, was when Bush was elected and now the, they're out. So my feelings are a little different, but that's based on the national election, not the yeah. local one. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking forward to another four years and, and uh, now that I've got my feet wet and kind of have a little bit of feel for where we're going, what we're doing, I see the value that RCSD has for Roseman community and, and how important it really is sure. uh, for the development of the parks and water and sewer and everything that's going on in Roseman. Uh, mm -hmm. The MAC is starting to work together with the RCSD and the school district. It's like we're all coming together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe H has passed also, mm -hmm. which will uh, mm -hmm. really be beneficial for the parks and recreation uh, uh, parenting along with uh, the uh, the school district. Jack Comer uh, from uh, Santa Cur Santa Clara uh, Superior Court uh, ruled that there is only one basin in the Antelope Valley. After hearing testimony for eight days, <clears throat> ruled that there is one large basin and that there is water connectability where they actually go over the ridges and go through the different things. Sure. Uh, Tohon Ranch had uh, maintained that there was a sub-basin uh, running from the Valley uh, Buttes to Little Buttes to Tropical Mountains. Uh, and uh, uh, Diamond uh, Farms allocated that it was another sub-basin running up in Willow Springs on the north of the Willow Springs fault line. Mm -hmm. And then Anaverde Ranch uh, say that there was another sub-basin on the uh, south side of the Anastory Fault. With the idea that they wanted to control those they bases. They wanted to control it and they wanted those to be out of the adjudication area for consideration of how water is handled in the future.
judge has uh, requested a management conference uh, on uh, November 25th at 10 o'clock in uh, San Jose. Uh, 